But let's take Wesley in West Virginia. Um, Wesley is a theist that wants to talk about the spirit of Jesus. Uh, so what is, what do you believe and why, Wesley? Hi. Uh, yeah, um, thank you for asking. I, I believe the second coming happened, that Jesus said on January 4th, and in the year 2003, he spoke, and he came in the clouds with his angels and said, it is time. And he began pouring his spirit upon all flesh, whether you believe in him or whether you don't. And right after Jesus Christ said, it is time, uh, a rogue angel named Baal, who also is known as Satan, said the words, sad and delicious. And when Satan said sad and delicious, he imitated, emulated the voice of Jesus, capturing the tonality, you know, the timbre of, of Jesus's voice like a mimic. And that happened on January 4th in 2003. And from that time, everyone on earth felt the latter rain. It is literally a rain from the sky, a spiritual white. Hold rain. on. And so I want you to be able to tell your story, but I have some questions right away. Um, so I don't doubt that I felt rain at some point in my, in my life. Um, but, but, um, but, but how, do, how do you know this happened? Um, I saw my filthy, ashen, dead soul one night. I was put before the judgment seat of Jesus Christ, and he. What does a soul look like? Showed me. Uh, What's to what me, does a soul it, look it, like? With, without the scales of my eyes, without my imagination, it looked like the shape of my body and burnt into a dead gray color of ashes and blackness. I. Uh, Ashes can I ask you some more? Can I ask you some more uh, questions? Sure. So I, I get that it was a white pearl of light. Okay, so I I, I get that. Hold on, Wesley. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute you for a sec if if you don't stop talking. Um. Okay. So I want to ask some yeah. questions because I'm of course I did not see this happen, right? And I I believe uh -huh. that you believe that this happened. So I want I want to see if I can get on the same page as you uh, with what happened. So. At the time that this happened in in 2003, what were you doing? What were you doing right before this whole thing happened to you? I was homeless in Chicago, living. Uh, I had I had found a warm spot over a, on a roof of a place called the Paper Source near the Art Gallery District of Chicago, near the L. And when I heard Jesus say it is time and Satan say sad and delicious, I got up and it was about two in the morning and walked into the street okay. and about 15 people ran out of a nearby martini bar and they were in the streets and they were all saying, we've got the Holy Spirit. We've got the Holy Spirit. What do we do? You know what? And there was Wesley, another what? homeless man standing next to me and we looked at each other dumbfounded, not knowing exactly what to say. Wesley, what time of year was this? You said January? It was in the year 2004. Or you said it was... three on January 4th, and it was 2 a.m. Okay. So it's 2 a.m. About 2 o'clock in the morning. And I was... Yeah, homeless, it's... And I was, you know, I, I, at the time, yeah. I was drawing caricatures on the street of Chicago. So, so Wesley, uh, uh, there's a lot going on here, and and I I don't want to disbelieve something necessarily just because it, it sounds out there. But... um. There's a lot of variables here that could have contributed to to something like this, and I don't know how much we're we're going to be able to really have this kind of discussion on air. Yeah, sure. I, I well, think so, give, give you a heads up, Wesley. Wesley, just uh, I think the fact that you've already changed the year uh, in in the discussion suggests to me that you might not. Uh, you might be misremembering this and it might mm -hmm. not be a very productive discussion to have until you've ironed out the inconsistencies yourself. Well, nothing is here. I think this and might be a callback episode you, uh, question. You violently like a ball. So, yeah, I, I think we're going to 
maybe if you want to revisit this call in the future, um, some things I'd, I'd like, uh, maybe if you were to call back, is to try to figure out what parts of this story um, might have been influenced by other variables, such as if you were cold and outside uh, in January, um, some things like hypothermia can contribute to um, to things like this, or, or hypoxia. If if uh, you were hypothermic and then not not getting enough oxygen, that could I impact this as well. And I'm not saying that that what you're saying necessarily isn't the case, but I think that there's some variables that we need to to iron out here. So if you can take your story and then figure out a way to tell us um, kind of the the evidence behind this story being being true, besides that that you had this experience, that might be. I think a better direction to take this but richard any final thoughts that, that you have on it yeah yeah i think uh, i mean I, I'm, I'm incredibly old and you know i was uh, it's still incredibly old in 2002 and 2003 and 2004 which were all different dates that he gave regarding the this event happening and i don't recall any event uh, happening in the skies with jesus uh throwing things out and rain coming down and changing uh anything so I, I, I just, uh, I think, you know, if you're going to call in with a story like that, at least get kind of the details straight yourself uh, bef before you call in and get a coherent story for us to actually respond to. Mm -hmm. Right. And something like that, too. Like, uh, if you'd like to call into the show, we want to have a conversation with you about what you believe and why. So it's important that that we do leave room for the conversation and don't try to just tell a, a story without giving some room for uh, a back and forth. So 